Hey everyone, it's Amanda from No Tracks, and today I'm here to give you a quick tutorial on how you could share your audio projects with your collaborators. If you work on audio projects a lot, whether it's music or podcasts or anything in between those, you probably work alongside a lot of different people. So if you're interested in learning how you could start sharing your projects, then keep watching. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to open Note Tracks and we're going to click the new project button. We're going to select audio as our project type and we're going to give it a name. Now that the project's been created successfully, we're obviously going to need to import the project to share it. So what we're going to want to do is click either of these two add track buttons. You could drag and drop your file into the workspace or you could also import via Dropbox or Google Drive. My file is just in Finder, so I'm just going to upload it like this. And I also quickly wanted to mention that you can share several tracks at once with note tracks. So if you are interested and you have two tracks at once that you'd like to share and work on together, you could upload another track just the same way I just showed you. So I'm going to upload my piano extras. And as you can see, it uploads right into the workspace. It's visually there. They're both together and it's really, really easy to leave feedback, edit, draw, do all of that stuff together. You know, as you can see, I could click here and leave a really quick comment, you know, just to show my collaborators what I'm thinking, what my feedback is. And it's a really, really great way to work alongside everybody who you work with. So to share the project, what you're going to want to do is click this button in the top right corner. And then if you want to share your project super quickly, what you're going to want to do is activate a public link. And then you could just copy and paste the link to whoever you want to share the project with. You could also adjust their permissions to can comment, can edit, or can view. Can view does also allow them to download as well. Um, and you could adjust it from anyone to invites only. Additionally, we also have uh, just an email address box that you could put in and it'll send them an invite directly to their email. And we also have communication platforms. So let's say you're working on an audio project for your boss. You know, he asked you to do a podcast episode and you want to quickly uh, share it with him. You could just click the Slack button and it's sent over. So that's kind of the gist on sharing. Um, additionally, really quick, I did want to mention that if you are someone who's sharing with an editor and you want them to be really precise, you can share via um, clicking the uh, checkbox for playback starting time. So let's say you want to send it at 10 seconds in, click this box and it'll send it 10 seconds in. So yeah, that is basically the gist for sharing. Sharing your audio tracks allows you to work alongside everybody to get feedback. And it's really, really, really integral to create really awesome audio projects. So if you're interested in learning more about No Tracks today, you could check out our website at notracks.com or you could check out our YouTube for even more tutorials. Thanks for watching. I've been Amanda. See you soon.